Hey guys, welcome to another mod review on this channel. Today I'm going to show you the vanilla expanded orcs mod from Minecraft version 1.18.2. This mod adds a bunch of new features including new structures, mobs, items, blocks, tools and armor. We have a lot of content to cover, so let's get started. At first we will quickly go through all the new blocks and items. Probably the most important new items are orc teeth, which are dropped by orc mobs. These orc teeth can be used to craft many of the items and blocks included in the mod, as you will see later on. An orc can also drop an orc eye, which can be crafted into nether wards. Furthermore, the orc horn is an item you get as a drop from the orc boss. The iron scrap is a new item which can be obtained in chests, in structures or by putting a scrap block in a crafting table. You can use two iron scraps to craft an iron ingot or 9 iron scraps to craft a scrap block. You can also use the scraps to craft a scrap wall, which is a really cool looking and handy decoration for your buildings. New are also these cool orc symbols, which can be obtained by putting an oak lock into a stone cutter or which can be found in orc settlements. You can color the orc symbols using red or blue dye. For decoration there are also some really amazing horns, which can be crafted using wooden planks and orc teeth. Double horns can be crafted similarly to the normal horns using twice the amount of orc teeth and wooden planks. There is also a big version of a horn. Furthermore, new oak palisades, which are similar to the cobblestone balls you know of your Minecraft vanilla world, are included. They can be crafted out of logs. A new set of tools is in the mod as well. The tools can be crafted using orc teeth. There is even a universal tool called the orc teeth paxel which you can utilize as a pickaxe as well as a normal axe and shovel to avoid carrying too many tools around with you all the time. Another new item is the heavy orc hammer, which does a lot of attack damage but is slower. The orc teeth armor has similar armor stats as the iron armor and can be crafted using orc teeth and leather as well as orc horns. In later versions of the mod there might be changes to the crafting recipe. I therefore recommend, as always, to install just enough items. Another new armor is the ghillie suit. This armor has a very low durability but can be crafted just using leaves. While you are wearing the full set of armor, you get invisible if you stand next to leaves and sneak. The orc skull is a decoration block which can be obtained by killing a weird goblin or orc. The orc wand can also be obtained by killing a weird goblin or orc. Using this wand you can summon a wither strike by right clicking. Let's move on to the new structures included in the mod. There is a new orc settlement which will spawn from time to time. In the settlement you will find a group of orcs as well as chests with loot and blocks which are included in the mod. Finally let's take a look at the new mobs the mod will add to your Minecraft world. In general, there are three types of new mobs. Goblins, Orcs and Squigs. The goblins are smaller, will behave more cowardly and stay in their group. They use a hit and run tactic, so they attack you, try to run away, to encircle you and attack again. The Orcs are less cowardly, they are stronger and will also attack you alone. The Squigs on the other hand, will just go all out and attack you whatever happens. Orcs are equipped with a sword to damage enemies, with a shield to block attacks or with a mace to push enemies. They are equipped with either leather armor or iron armor. Goblins are equipped with a sword or a shield as well as leather armor. The orcs and goblins have a morality system that is affected by how many teammates they have and how many have been killed. If they get scared, they flee. There are also special versions of orcs and goblins, such as the weird goblins, which are stronger. They can heal themselves and their allies. They are faster and they can teleport when they are fleeing, for example if they are trapped in a room. There are also weird orcs, which have stronger attack speed, are able to heal themselves and their allies, apply the wither effect to enemies and teleport when they are fleeing. Weird goblins and orcs will keep their distance from the player. New are also Goblin Bombers, which will move towards the player and randomly trigger a bomb. You can prevent the bomb from going off by using water and you can instantly kill the Bombers using fire. Camo Goblins hide in leaves and ambush you. 
You can recognize them by the sound of leaves breaking. These goblins can dodge your attacks and even set traps to slow your movement. When they are hurt, they return to a normal goblin form. Squigs are animal-like creatures who will blindly attack you, so watch out for them. There are also so-called Spectre Squigs, which come from a special mob called Necro Weird Boy Orc. They can possess allied orcs, and when a possessed orc dies, it spawns new Spectre Squigs that empower other orcs. You can cancel the empowerment of the possession by setting the mobs on fire. Another special mob is the Big Orc Boss, who you can find in orc villages. His allies will stay near to the orc boss and he gives them fear immunity, so they don't get scared and flee. When orcs or goblins are on low health and they get separated, they will panic and flee from the player. This covers all the general information about the mobs and the mod. What is really amazing about the system is that every type of mob has a different behavior in general and depending on the situation they are in. They don't behave like Minecraft mobs usually do and just attack you whatever happens, but they will adapt to the situation they are in. Some are behaving more confidently, others will flee really quickly. They will often change their actions, for example depending on their health and whether allied mobs are still around them or not. So if you're searching for hostile mobs which act more realistic and intelligent than vanilla mobs do, this mod is definitely worth checking out. The mod is still in development and there are a ton of new features to come out in the future, like an orc shroom that will emerge when an orc dies and that turns into a new orc. The orc teeth armor will also be updated and there will be new possible ways to upgrade it. While you are watching this video, these features might actually be already implemented. Furthermore, the developers are more than happy to take new suggestions for the further development of the mod. I personally use this mod in my Minecraft survival world and I think it is a good addition to the already existing content in the game, not changing the game too drastically while adding some really cool new features, items, blocks and of course mobs. So I definitely recommend you try this mod out. Thanks for watching, if you don't want to miss any further reviews, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.